Uh, uh. You mean it gets tighter than this? Jesus. My nips are hard. Hey, it's Nick, back with another Fat Guy review and more compression shirts. Uh, I'm terrified to do these compression shirts because I have three this time that I'm gonna try all different sizes. So Timo from Rhino Shape is apparently who I bought uh, this compression shirt from in the last video. Didn't know, I just kind of saw it on Instagram and bought it. According to him and according to all of you, as you can see, uh, I bought it a little too big, even though it said my shirt size. Uh, and I bought my shirt size, apparently it was still too small. Thank you again for your comments and I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. And uh, except you. Don't be gross, but I mean, it's probably gonna happen. By the way, if this is so common, like maybe you should adjust your sizes as opposed to me having to learn a new habit. Just saying, why is it all gotta be on me and the consumer? If you put XXL, mean that it's a size small, you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? This is not my problem, this is your problem. Anyway, they sent me three new compression shirts. Here they go. Uh, they did give them to me for free, so I just wanna let you know that. Uh, I will review them honestly and you will see the results. I'm gonna measure it once again. So we're gonna see if they actually work. I can't review fakely if they, does fakely work? I can't fudge the numbers. I'm not that smart. So you're gonna see how this all goes down and if it actually works and what size is comfortable and slimming. So rhino shape, make me look sexy. Three compression shirts, one of these. One of these has gotta work, right? By the way, rhino shape, rhino shape, it's a little hurtful. It's a, I'm not gonna lie. Hurts a little. Ugh. This is the triple XL. The two XL, which is the one I have. The large, oh my God, they sent me four. The large, that's gonna be snug. And the XL, so. If you don't know what a compression shirt is, it is a shirt that will hug you really, really tight and make you seem slimmer so that you fit better in your clothes and you lie to all the women you go on your first date with or, you know, make you more confident, whatever. So what do you say we get naked? So this is me pre-compression shirt. This is just, this is just how it is. This is all me, which I'm sure since quarantine is a lot more of me. <sighs> 51 inches, there we go. 48, triple XL. Don't look at me. Oh, uh, this is triple XL. Oh my God. Uh, uh. You mean it gets tighter than this? Jesus. My nips are hard. Ugh. I gotta do some push-ups. 50 for the belly. And so the chest, still 48. Two XL, which is one size smaller than this. Ugh. God. This is the size I bought originally. Two XL. It feels very tight. It feels very tight. 49 and a half. So half an inch less than the other one. 49 and a half, not bad. Chest, 47. I think that's an inch smaller. Extra large. Oh God. Uh. Now I finally feel like I'm being compressed. All right, so almost 48 and a half. That's 48 still. All right, so the chest really isn't getting compressed much. Oh no, people will know. Here's the front. Oh, it looks a little, feels nice. Kind of, it's comfy once it's on there. I feel like I have to hold my breast. Now, uh, the large. So this is two sizes smaller than my shirt size. Let's see what it does. <laughs> <laughs> the arms aren't really getting compressed. So if that's what you're looking for, like this just kind of, but I, I don't have a lot of fat on the arms, uh, that's right, ladies. So if you're looking for that, it probably is gonna work fine. I'm more concerned about the belly. No, nope, 48. It kind of did the same as the last one. So I guess you can only be compressed so much. All right, so 48, same. So I've evened this out, is what it seems like. Yeah, it just, I mean, if you got a gut. Arms still poking through. Maybe this, the sides look a little better. Maybe it's brought in the love handles a little bit. A little bit, I mean, they're still kinda. It's shaped me, if that if that helps. I don't know, what do you guys think? Did it work? I can't really tell. 
All right, so final thoughts on all the compression shirts. Uh, obviously, 2XL or 3XL does nothing. 2XL uh, did a little bit, but I think you want to go at least one or two sizes down if you're looking to get a compression shirt. It's not hard to wear. I'm wearing the large right now, and it's really not affecting anything, like my breathing or it's not like choking me or anything. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm less bubbly. So I guess if you're looking for a miracle in a compression shirt that's gonna make you look like this, from, go from me to like this guy, that's probably not gonna happen. But it at least takes the shirt from clinging off of you and it kind of shapes you a little bit. I guess I have to recommend uh, two sizes down if you're gonna get the compression shirt from Rhino Shape at least. I don't know, everyone's different. Plus, I don't actually have some of the issues that I think a lot of people that wear compression shirts usually do. Like, uh, I think compression shirts are more for people that have lost a lot of weight and they are trying to just kind of keep everything together. So if that's you, this is definitely uh, snug and will keep you together. Um, if you're trying to look slimmer, it's probably not gonna work. You just gotta, gotta eat better and exercise like everybody says, which, it's not gonna happen, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do it. Who wants to be 70? You know what I'm saying? Well, thanks for watching, and I actually have compression shorts that I will be doing in the next video, so make sure to like and subscribe, and then I think I'm gonna put a whole compression outfit on, because why the hell not, right? Do compression shorts work? We'll find out in a future video. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.